This is a Qigong practice focused on the wood element and its associated season of spring. Start by stepping the feet shoulders distance apart and placing your hands on your lower dantian, about two inches beneath the navel. Take a few centering breaths to draw down through your feet while simultaneously lifting up through the crown of your head. This represents the two directional movement of wood, which is to root down to rise up. Release the hands. We'll start with some joint releases for the spine. Arms up to a cactus shape, elbows bent 90 degrees. Inhale, elbows bend back, opening the gates. Then close the gates. Exhale, extend arms forward, knees bent, turning your palms so they face away from each other. Inhale, repeat, lifting up, bending the elbows back, opening the chest and shoulders. Exhale and extend the arms, the palms facing away from each other, back like a tabletop position. Inhale and stand, opening the gates. Make sure you feel this less in your lower back and more through your upper back and chest. Exhale, close the gates. Turning your arms and hands will help the backs of your shoulder blades open. Root the feet, do one more round. This is very therapeutic for your spine, but also works with the wood elements associated tissues of the ligaments and tendons, creating strong space in your joints. Then, finishing up, inhaling, and exhaling forwards. Inhale to release, lowering the arms while you lift the crown of your head up. Next, we'll do some lateral stretches. Inhale, lift your right arm towards the sky. I'm mirroring you here. Exhale, and imagine someone holds the top wrist and lifts you up, letting the rest of your body dangle down. Be there for a full breath with that two-directional reach. Inhale, up, and repeat. Exhale, changing the arms, so now your right arm is down and your left arm is up. Imagine again, your top wrist lifts up towards the sky, letting the rest of your body dangle down. Then inhale up and repeat more rhythmically, exhaling down. Side bends like this support healthy wood, which lets us build suppleness and strength. Wood in Chinese medicine and Qigong relates to the tendons and ligaments of our body, which are like the rigging ropes of a ship that allow for movement while keeping the ship's frame solid. And they work to create basic structures of stability so your muscles and bones can move within a safe and well-structured environment. And then inhale, draw both arms up overhead. And exhale, begin letting your hands move down in front of your front body, settling your chi. Keep the breathing natural, letting the hands and the arms be at ease. Then begin a sequence of pulsing, known as harmonizing the qi, or qi shi tiao xi. Inhale and float the arms forwards while simultaneously lowering your hips back and down. Exhale, lower the hands while lifting up through the crown of your head. And then this repeats. So as you lift your arms to chest level, extend your tailbone down. Exhale and relax the arms, rooting the feet while lifting the crown of the head up. Continue inhaling, keeping the chest open and soft as you lift the arms and bend the knees. Exhaling, chest stays soft and open as your crown lifts and arms lower down. This movement is a bit like squats at a gym, only it's not. <laughs> With pulses, your intention is to create strength, but also rootedness and resilience in your body and mind. It also helps deepen the breath, calm the mind, and balances the liver, which is the organ associated with wood. When our liver chi becomes blocked or imbalanced, it can lead to feelings of frustration. Because pulsing asks us to move with steadiness and patience, we can learn to create a sense of fluid, steady composure, and ease when facing agitation and restlessness. Release and step your feet apart for horse stance or a ma bu. Open the arms, bend the knees, elbows and hands relaxed. Inhale, 
and then straighten your legs a little bit while wrapping your arms around an imaginary trunk of a tree. Exhale and open the arms again, bending the knees. Inhale into what's known as embrace tree. Exhale into horse stance. And then exhaling into that horse stance, we're going to stay there for a few breaths. In the family of standing postures, horse stance is among the stronger ones. It conditions the legs and increases physical and mental strength and endurance. Then inhale back into embrace tree. Well, we'll remain again for a few breaths. For the wood element in spring, the image of embracing a trunk of a tree offers strong connections to the steadiness and rooting of a large tree. This form is also known as embracing the one, Chen Bao Zhuang, which evokes a sense that our experience is part of a wholeness and oneness of all creation. Release, feet stepping closer in and hands releasing down. Next, we'll do some deer frolics, which is the animal related to wood and spring in Qigong. First, make deer hooves with your hands. Yes, you have hooves. <laughs> Fingertips touch lightly together. Inhale your right heel forward into the side. Simultaneously bring your hoofs to the left. I'm mirroring you. Then make deer antlers by folding in the third and fourth fingers towards your palm. Exhale. Then inhale, circle your arms overhead and to your right. Bend your front knee and turn to your right, exhaling. Left arm stays up, right elbow to your right waist. Turn and look back at your left heel. This should feel like a big stretch to your left side. Then inhale, antlers overhead, circle them, exhaling to the left and back down, making deer hooves. Also step your front foot back in. Second side, so hoofs to your right. Left heel steps forward, turning the toes out. Exhale, bend the front knee and circle antlers overhead. As you bend the front knee, turn to your left, looking at your back, right heel. Right arm stays up, left forearm, elbow to the left waist. Then inhale, your antlers back overhead. Exhale, circle them to the right and back down, making deer hooves with your hands again. Also step your front foot back in. Continue. Hooves to your left, right foot out. Exhale, antlers circling overhead. Bend the front knee, turn to your right. Keep your left arm lifted up, right forearm, elbow to the left waist, looking at your back left heel. Then inhale, your antlers back up overhead. Exhale, circle them to the left and back down, making deer hooves. Also step your front foot back in. Deer forms are complex at first, but they get easier with practice and you might feel more graceful and more supple and strong. So hoofs to your right, left heel out. Exhale, bend the front knee, circle antlers overhead. Keep your right arm lifted up, lowering the left forearm to your waist as you bend the front knee. Turn to your left, point your antlers behind you. Then inhale your antlers overhead. Exhale, circle them back down to the right and step the front foot in. Now I'm going to show you the same form from the back. So inhale, hoofs to your left, right heel steps forwards. Antlers with your hands and exhale, bend the front knee. Circle the arms overhead, leaving your left arm up, right arm lowers down. Turn to your right and look at your left heel. It's a big stretch to the left side of your body. And inhale and sweep your antlers overhead, circling them to the left and back down with hooves to the starting position. Inhale, hooves to the right, left heel out, antlers with your hands, and exhale, bend the front knee, circling the antlers overhead. Right arm up, left arm down. Turn to your left, look at your back left heel with that coiling action that supports spring energy. Inhale, lift your antlers back overhead, upwards and outwards expansion. Exhale, release, and the foot comes back in. Now turning back to the front, we'll do one more round each side. Hoofs to your left, right foot steps out. Use a sense of strength and grace to lift associated with the deer. 
Exhale, bend the front knee, hoofs become antlers. Left arm up, right arm lowers. And then inhale, lift, arms back overhead. Step the front foot back in, exhale, antlers become hooves. Last time, inhale, hoofs to the right, left heel steps out, make antlers. Exhale, bend your front knee, antlers overhead, right arm up, left down. Turn to look at your left and your back right heel. It's really good for these ligaments and tendons that are associated with wood. Then inhale your antlers back overhead. Exhale, step the front foot in. Antlers become hooves. Hands return to the starting position. We'll now do female deer forms. Start making deer hooves with your hands. And then inhale and lift them up to make female antlers which are like round, soft knobs above your ears. Weights in your right leg, I'm mirroring you again, and step your left foot forward lightly. Make sure 90% of the weight's on your back leg. Also bend your back knee. This builds strength in the back leg as well as poise, grace, and balance. And keep your gaze soft and open here. Breathe naturally and deeply. Then inhale, shift your weight forward to your front foot, bending your front knee. Exhale and turn slightly towards your right. Lower your back hand to your hip, bend your back knee again. Touch your top hand to your front hoof. <laughs> Did you know you also again have a front hoof? <laughs> the leg is straight and the back leg remains bent. This is a very nice stretch for the front leg's hamstrings and the muscles on the back of your leg. Then inhale and rise up, bringing both hands up to make female deer antlers. Exhale, return, turning to the front, stepping the front foot back in and releasing the hands out and down to the starting position. Second side, inhale and lift your hooves up, making them into female antlers by your ears. Exhale and step your right foot forward, putting most of your weight on your bent back knee. Again, this cultivates strength and balance in your back leg. Breathe with a soft gaze. The gaze here is important. The deer represents a close connection to spirit in Qigong. And the eyes, as the saying goes, are the windows to the soul. Inhale, then shift your weight forward to your front foot, bending the front knee. Exhale, turn to your left. Shifting your weight to your back knee, bend that knee and fold forward again, touching your top hand to your front hoof. Front leg is straight, back leg bent. Feel a length through your front hamstring as well as the stretch of your back hip. And then inhale, begin to rise back up, bringing both hands up to make female deer antlers. Exhale and turn back towards the front, stepping the front foot back in releasing the hands down to the starting position. Then we'll step the feet a little apart, gather with the hands the deer's connection to wood and spring. It's clear vision, vitality, flexibility, strength, and grace. Fill these same qualities into the form of your body so that you can experience the poise, gentleness, and connection to spirit that the deer has. Now inhale and begin to lift the hands, palms facing up towards your chest. Exhale and turn your right hand's fingers up, left hand's fingers down. This is a wood element mudra. The hands are soft and centered with the right wrist above the left. The top and bottom hands are a few inches away from the mid chest and lower abdomen respectively. Just to mention, I'm mirroring you here again. The spiraling action of the hands represents wood's downward roots that supports its upward rise. And keeping steady roots amidst spring's strong surge of growth and often unpredictable weather patterns can help you bend rather than break when the winds of change blow. Now change the hands, inhale and bend your elbows to the two sides, palms facing the earth. Exhale and bring your left hand's fingers pointing up, right hand's fingers pointing down. Palms are both facing to your right. 
in this form, keep your hands and fingers soft and at ease. Relax the joints of the body and maintain an inward smile. This, this can support the quality of something in Chinese called Ren. Best translates as humaneness or having a disposition towards kind, loving, and charitable acts. It's believed that our Ren naturally manifests when we cultivate healthy, balanced wood energy, a good quality to cultivate any time of year, but particularly good in the spring when tempers and impatience can flare. Then inhale, begin to bend the elbows out, palms facing down. Exhale, release the hands down, feel your energy and chi settle. And inhale, begin to do the closing form for peaceful chi. Gather the qualities of healthy wood energy, rootedness, flexibility, strength, clear vision, and kindness. Then fill these qualities into the form of your body, supporting a sense of peaceful, nourishing chi for your body, mind, and spirit. Let these qualities radiate from within you, so that if someone looked closely, they might see an inner brightness and shine. Then step the feet a little closer together. Place your hands on the lower abdomen or lower dantian. Breathe in healthy, balanced wood energy that has roots, is center and grounds you so that you can do as nature does in the spring. Awaken, bloom, grow, and flourish. And this completes the wood-themed Qigong practice. These and many other elementally themed Qigong practices are described in my new book, Qigong and the Tai Chi Axis, Nourishing Practices for Body, Mind, and Spirit.